We've had a really good September. Five games, five wins. Italy's well easy. Hello and welcome to episode three of Going Pro. Now, since I last left you, myself and Pro Vercelli have gone on a nice little winning run. Entirety of September, five games, five wins. Sure, the last three games were all one nilers, but we are unbeaten so far. Um, which is quite a nice start to things, as it were. Um, we did have some small casualties along the way, though. In our last game against uh, Piacenza, Pia, yeah, Piacenza, I think it's pronounced Piacenza, uh, we lost Anastasio uh, to injury. He's out for, how long was it? Two to five weeks. So we're going to be missing them for a little bit of time. But also, you may have noticed there, Matteo Della Morte managed to get him sent off, himself sent off pretty early on. Yeah, I wasn't impressed. I was a bit frustrated by that. Mainly because he's our only good left midfielder. Everyone else is pretty rubbish. Sure, I might be able to play some, a right winger over there that can do half a job, but he's the only one that was actually you know, anywhere near decent. So for these next two games, we've got a little bit of a formation pickle on our hands. So if we have a look over here, this is kind of a compromise I'm thinking of maybe going for. Like a 5-2-1-2 five, five, two, two. might be helpful. It means both of the strikers get to play in their preferred positions. and We've got them both on there. By the way, uh, Aragini and Comey, not very good. Not very good. One goal between the pair of them in five matches. Not ideal. So, the, the, so this is option one, which I think we'll try for one of the games. Want to give that a little bit of a go. And then obviously, like I say, we can go back to that. And, you know, we can put Traore on that wing. Or we can just play someone with, like, half a star or whatever. Or, you know, less stars, two stars. You know, it not being their preferred position. We can give either of them a go. But we're going to try this formation for the next game. See how it goes for us. I mean, look, we're unbeaten so far. So hopefully we can, that sort of form will help us get through the next game. So speaking of our next game, we have Vicenza Calcio, who, by the looks of things, where are they in the league? Fifth. They are fifth in the league. Fine. Um, so could be a bit tricky. They've won two, drawn three. Okay. So they're also unbeaten, but in a slightly less impressive way. Could be a challenge, though. Could be very difficult. Um... If we have a little look through their teams, it's always interesting to see what people have got going on. How are they looking for form? They've got someone who's on a couple of goals, a couple of goals over here. So they've they've got more goals than we have. They're playing the exact same formation as us as well. So, well, they're playing the formation we would be playing if we had a had a left winger. Um, but could be interesting. Could go well. I'm optimistic. Their kit's a bit boring. I will say that about them. Right, let's jump into this game then. So, Vicenza versus Provercelli. They're recommending a couple of little changes. I'm not so sure on doing that. Um, we can always change back to the, the formation that we know and love. Um, but I, I am keen to see if this works. I am playing Traore out of position, but apparently he's fine at it. Like, it's not necessarily one of his... He's competent at it, I should say. So, should be fine. We'll see how he gets on. Worst comes to worst, like I say. We can move him back on the right and bring on a left winger. And as far as left wingers go, there aren't really many. There's a lot of right wingers that can play left wing. Rossett there doesn't look particularly inspiring. Um, that's about it. So we might be bringing on uh, Mustachio, maybe. Mustachio. Uh, I think Traore can play over on that side as well. Yeah, he can. So we have options for the left-hand side failing, you know, failing this formation, but we'll see how we get on. Anyway, let's get into this game against Vicenza. Okay, so, yeah, on reflection, maybe should be more optimistic about this game. We're looking good so far, 5 out of 5-1. We're playing our strongest team as well, so, yeah, an argument could be made we should be okay based on how we've been around other teams. I don't think we've really had any other challenges at that level. I don't think we haven't played any of the other teams that are in and around us, so, you know, it, this might be our first proper test, let's say that. Let's jump in, though. Let's see how we get on. Just take it one one match at a time. That's all we've got to do in this save. 
anything going to happen? Okay, finally, there we go. Stats finally, something's happened. We've had a shot. This may, this might go into that category of a really boring first half. I'm glad I'm wrong. Okay, Belich on the ball for Vicenza. Plays it back to the keeper. Grandy bringing it way out of his goal. Chips it through the middle. They're on a counter. Rolfini. Good save from Rizzo. Very nice save. Very good work from him. Okay. Vicenza on the corner. Whipped in. Another good save from Rizzo. Probably could have caught that. I'm not a goalkeeper, but I feel like you can grab that. Maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm expecting too much. You know. Let's get rid of those early crosses. I don't know why we're going for early crosses. We've not got wingers on the pitch. Let's try and work the ball into the box. See if that does us any favours. And failing that, I might step it down to uh, balanced in a moment. Um, just to try and give us... Because we're not really doing much. Is anybody having a bit of a rubbish game? Yes, but that might be because we've changed tactics. I mean, why not? Why not? Let's let's have a bit of fun, shall we? Let's just change let's just change everything. Let's do that. Because at least Mustachio actually no, because they're basically about the same ability if I do that. So we might as well just bring on Mustachio and play him over on that side. Let's see if doing just a sim one little change, going back to a usual formation, to see if that helps us or not. Let's see if we can get anything out of this. Doesn't look like it at the moment though, because we've still only had one shot and it was off target. Here we go. Traore plays it into the box. Oh, cleared off the line and tapped in by who else? Mustachio. Mustachio man comes along, pokes the ball straight in the net. Very nice. 1 0 up. So we've had two shots now. <laughs> Bit scrappy. Bit of a scrappy goal. I'll take a scrappy goal. Bring it on. Bring it on. That's a nice change of things. Oh, we've, we've, now, now we're shooting. Now we know what's going on. It's weird. We had two strikers on the pitch. One shot on, on target. Or one shot wasn't even on target. Take them off. And we start actually shooting. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, Gatto, are you any good over there? Yeah, I'm taking off uh, Traore because he's not playing particularly great. And you know what? Pabai is not having a, his best game. Let Go on. Let's bring on Iota. Iotti, sorry. Iota. Iotti. Can't freaking read. Uh, <laughs> let's get into the second half. See this through. Keep the result intact. Have an impact if you feel like it. Just let's win. <laughs> If it's another 1-0, I mean, again, don't get me wrong. I'm happy with 1-0s because it's a win, but it's not particularly exciting, you know. Uh, Iotti, Iotti, might be Iotti. I don't know. Calvano plays it over to Gatto. Threaded ball, finds the striker. Oh, he misses. Aragini. Come on, my boy. Gentile. Throws it to Calvano. Back to Gentile. Edge of the box. No, he's going all the way. Good hands from Grandy. Good hands. Good save from their keeper. Um, do we want to make any other changes? I might take off Salvano for Corradini. Aragini's not having a great game, is he? Let's bring on... I'm going to... Yeah, we'll bring on Guindo. We played the other youth striker, our signing, Marqu Marquant, in, a, uh, in one of the previous games. He wasn't particularly special either. Striker might be the problem with this team, I'll be honest with you. But if we can replace them, if we can find someone that's half decent to step into their shoes, could be good. Gatto tries to get his cross in, finds Mustachio, but he doesn't find anyone. Grandi clears it, huge hoof ball, and Stopper picks it up, and Vicenza are in behind our defence. Stopper finds his teammate, good goal from them to be fair. Nicola Del Monte, the man from Del Monte, has scored against us. Bugger. That's a real shame, that. I mean, granted, I, an argument could be made that we didn't deserve to win this one. Because statistically, we weren't being exactly dominant. Other than in possession, I think. But they definitely deserve something out of it. Ah, oh, what a shame. What a bottling. What an absolute bottle job. One all against Vicenza. Never mind, team. 
Never mind. We've got bigger and better things coming up, though, in our next match, because now we're taking on Lecho. Lecho, not Lecho. Lecho, as I miscalled them in the last one. Lecho. Uh, we've got them in the cup, which is very exciting. Very exciting. Our first game in the Coppa Italia. Let's see how we get on. Now, I may have slightly not read enough of this uh, competition's name because it's actually the Coppa Italia but just the teams in Serie C which kind of makes sense because there are three areas there's uh, CA, CB and CC obviously um, but it's a chance at silverware so might as well give it a good go eh? Uh, we take on Lecho let's have a little look no massive changes we do have uh, Della Morte back in the team because he's only suspended for the league so we can play him in the cup might as well he's one of our better players um, yeah, he scored the most goals for us as well, so definitely worth having him around the place. Let's see how we get on against Lecho. Let's dive in. Uh, everyone seems pleased, which is nice. It's nice to have the team happy, ready for the game. Uh, fine, I'll go for that one. Uh, so usually when I go through those, those pages, I always look at the team to see like, oh, do I recognise any of the players that play for this team? Of course I'm not going to recognise any of the players that play for the team. I've never managed at this level. Never managed in this country, so I haven't got a clue. They do have a Maldini. That's... I don't know if it's, a, you know, like a like an official Maldini or if it's like a, you know, like a Poundland one, but either way, it's a Maldini and they can... Uh, they're known to cause issues. Christian Maldini. I need to look this up now. Sorry. Pause from the game. Christian Maldini, related? Yeah, yeah, he's related to him. Okay, well, hopefully hopefully he's, got, he's inherited zero of his father's ability and uh, we actually find it really easy to play against them. Let's fingers crossed, you know, see how we do. Come on, anything will happen. Another kind of quiet first half for us in terms of highlights. Doing well statistically, we're getting plenty of shots away. Um, I don't know if that's just because we've turned shoot on sight on. And they are literally shooting as soon as they turn around. But we'll find out. Uh, Camigliano. Plays it over to Macchioni. For Tomasi. You'll notice that every time I do the commentaries, I say their names completely differently each time. It's because I don't know how they're supposed to be said. Aragini! Finally. First goal of the season for you, buddy. Good pressure from uh, Della Morte there. Really well closed down. Let's watch that again. Yeah, good pressure from him. Closes down. The defender easily gets the ball in. Couldn't have been an easier finish for him if he tried. Nice. 1 0 up. Very good. It's nice to win. It's nice to be back to winning ways. Ooh, unlucky Delamorte. Good effort on the free kick. I say we're back to winning ways. I have this habit. Uh, with Football Manager where I, I like to run before I, I walk and I'll assume now that we're 1-0 up oh cool we've won this game really stupidly because you know obviously we all know that that's not how football works and that's not how this game works it does like to bite you in the arse every now and again um, but we're playing well we're 1-0 up we're doing okay let's just keep going at this rate see how we get on Traore plays it in the middle to Corradini tries to play it back but can't quite find him does win the ball back though. Pabai plays it over the top. Traore, lovely control. Good save. Good save from the keeper. Ooh. Dangerous. Dangerous stuff. Corradini standing over the corner. Gets the ball in. Easy hands. Easy catch for Stucci. Again, we are having a lot of shots here, but not many on target. I may change that to work ball into box because that's obviously preferred, you know, try and actually put the ball in the net. Uh, Gentile is not having the best game. We can bring on Fabrazio or Fab Fabrazio again. I'm sorry if you are watching, if you're from Italy and you, you know, you find these videos. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm saying all of these players' names wrong. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I don't, I don't know. I should look into it, really. You'd think that would be a smart thing to do, look into how to pronounce uh, Italian players' names, seeing as I'm going to probably be surrounded by them for, a, for the foreseeable future. Uh, any other changes that I fancy making? Let's bring on... Ooh. Let's bring on... Uh, let's bring on Sacco. Sacco? Sacco? I'm calling him Sacco. We'll bring him on. 
and we've got uh, you know what we'll leave that there because obviously you know we, we can we can we can make more subs later on depending on how things go uh, Mazzy on the ball plays it forward to Diambo why with Pabai now bit of space uh, end of the highlight yeah we're getting we're having our shots from everywhere by the looks of things but yeah four on targets not particularly inspiring um yeah, a bit of a worry. Might take off Macchioni or Maccioni for Perotta. And we'll do that as well. Stick him over on the left-hand side because he likes playing over there. I did not know that Cami, Camigliano was five stars in the middle. Since when were you five star? Leading Serie B player. Okay, well, nice revelation to have. Um, we'll take off Traore as well. Don't need any more suspensions. Really don't want any more suspensions. And you know what? Let's take him off. He's played well. He's finally scored his goal. Let's bring on... Let's bring on Comey. Bring on the Ute. Oh, wait, that's not the youth. He's the oldest one. Well, whatever. Bring him on. If he fancies scoring, that'd be nice. They've both not been amazing, though. I will say that. Both of our strikers have been pretty underwhelming. Um, you know, again, understandable. You look at the, the thread of results that we've had, the amount of one nils we've had, uh, nearly all of them have come from midfielders. It's not particularly great. Uh, Dudu takes the ball off our team, but Prata wins it back. Plays it wide to Mustachio. Good control in the middle. Striker. There you go. See, again, this is something I'm noticing. If I moan about a particular player, it's like the game knows I'm saying, oh, yeah, my strikers have been rubbish. Comey's not scored enough goals. And then they go, oh, yeah? Well, how's this for a goal? And do you know what? I'm absolutely fine with it. I'll take it every single time because a goal's a goal. It helps us win the game. Surely that is sealed. 2-0 to Provercelli. Has to be. We have another highlight. Again, it's like it's listening to me. Every time I speak, something happens. Don't like this. Corradini plays it in the middle. Sacco. Over to Mustachio. Oh, good ball through for Comey. Is this going to be another goal for you? No. Plays it back to Pabai. Can't quite get around his man. Plays it to Sacco. In the middle. Della Fo De 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 Fonte. What am I on about? Della Morte goes for shot, but it's blocked. Who's Della Who's De Monte? Or Della Forte? Whoever I said. Is that an ex-player? Comey scores. Striker in again. This is a strange phenomenon that happens. Either he's performing because he's being filmed right now and he knows, oh, okay, I'm on the camera. I better do well. Or it's like, as soon as they stop scoring, you call them out on it, literally call them out on it, and then they start scoring. Very strange. I'll take it, though. 3-0. Very nice. Good win up against uh, Lecho. And I can't remember who we'd actually drawn in the second round, because it did, like, first, second, and third round all as one big batch um, right at the start of the season. So I guess we will find that out in a moment. Fabrizio makes his debut. Congratulations to him. We are taking on AC Reggiana, who are in the B version of the league. Because, like I say, there's A, B, and C. Is there a D? No. I think there's just A, B, and C. Um, but that's who we take on. How are they doing in the league? What am I looking for? Reggiana, Reggiana, Reggiana. Am I being stupid? No, I'm not. There they are. They are 17th. So, arguably... Should be an easy win. And I guess that is where we will uh, we will see you next. Because uh, unless anything drastic happens in the league... Oh, there you... Then, you know, there's no reason to, you know, come back for it. But that seems like a nice little pairing, actually. We're playing... A, go against Juve's Next Gen. Juventus Next Generation of Players. And AC Reggiana. So a nice league game, home game. And it's nice home and away. Nice little pairing for you. That's where we're going to leave things, though. Right there. We will see you in the next episode where we take on, like I say, we're going to take on Juve's reserve team, essentially, and AC Reggiana, which should be a good double heading. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and you want to continue following this Provocelli journey, be sure to give us a little subscribe. Maybe like the video and drop a comment as well because it always helps out with that YouTube algorithm stuff. Uh, otherwise, though, look after yourselves and I will see you in the next episode.